Part two of my interview with General Manager of Fonasba, Jonathan C. Williams, asks whether an international body could enforce the rule and what will happen if nations are not following it. I ask how the industry can avoid confusion and have a clear strategy which abides by the regulation. Is there any ground being made in the development of an international body implemented to actually regulate the new ruling? There is no uh, move to, to have an international body. The, the regulation will be self-enforcing in as much as the container lines have stated clearly and unequivoc unequivocally since the beginning they will not accept a container for loading which doesn't have a, a certificate of VGM. There are moves in, in some countries, for example in Europe, a, a, a number of associations have got together just to call for consistency in application of the regulation in certain areas uh, across Europe. Um, but no, there, there's, there's no, there's no international enforcement. As I say, the lines will do what they do and therefore it will be pretty much be self-regulating. And how will the rule be enforced if certain nations just aren't following it? Well, as we said, the carriers will not lift a box without a VGM. Okay. We've heard some countries are saying that they want to defer implementation of it. They can do that under SOLAS. They can do it for, for a maximum period of 12 months. Um, but SOLAS actually applies to the flag state of the vessel. So if a vessel's flag state has implemented the regulation, then the boxes cannot be loaded on board that ship. Um, so the country, where the countries are, are saying, for example, the, the US has mentioned it, Russia is talking about it, not implementing it for 12 months. The only reason that will have any effect is if the vessel that's lifting the boxes is registered in that country and the box is being lifted um, from that country. So um, as none of the major flag carriers have so far, flag states I should say, have said that they're going to defer, um, the impact is going to be extremely small and as I said in any case um, after a 12 month deferment that's all there is there's no extension and so by the 1st of July 2017 the issue will have disappeared because every SOLAS state will have had to have implemented it. So is there likely to be mass confusion when the rule comes in? I think there is potential for that because as we said it's a complex issue and it does cover all sorts of transport modes some of which don't normally get themselves involved with, with ocean transportation. The problems for us are the fact that from our recent survey, certainly the March 2016 version, there are still quite a large number of, of member states um, that haven't issued guidance to the trade in their country. And I think this, this will cause issues. The other issue that we have relates to what we call method two for ascertaining the VGM, which is adding up the sum of the parts. So the weight of the container, the weight of the contents, the weight of the dunnage, etc, etc, etc. And with that, um, there has to be um, a sort of licensing or accreditation process of the shippers that want to use that method. Um, and we're finding that in a number of countries, firstly, the number of shippers wanting to use that is, is significant. And unfortunately, in a lot of those countries, there aren't sufficient resources being provided to allow for the accreditation, licensing, whatever they want to call it, process to be finished by the 1st of July. So it may well be that there will be shippers out there who want to use Method 2 that because of a backlog or lack of preparedness or whatever, they're not going to be able to get it. So I think that's where the, where the issues are going to arise in that regard. And to wrap it up, what can uh, ports and, and shippers do to ensure that they're not affected by the confusion that is likely to come on July the 1st? One of the actions that FNASBA and its members are taking is, is to make sure that we as a ship agency community are involved with all the other stakeholders in the transport chain, in the ports, with the carriers, etc. The agent is the coordinator of the port call, so what we're doing is we're bringing all the parties together and driving forward preparations for implementation and for making sure that the, uh, the process is in. Uh, we've, we've encouraged our members to do this um, and, and a lot of them are actually at the forefront of doing this. For example, uh, our colleagues in, in Australia, Shipping Australia, actually issued the official guidelines on behalf of the, uh, the Australian um, authorities to this. In Denmark, our members are again involved with um, 
the, the development and the implementation of the guidelines, which is great stuff. Um, and this is, this is making sure that where it's being applied, it's being applied uh, correctly, accurately, and importantly, with the full knowledge of, of, of what's going on. So, as I say, that's the role that FNASBA's seen ourselves in. The agent's going to be in the firing line. They're going to be the ones that are going to get complaints if the boxes don't get loaded. So, not only is it a question of our sort of professional competence as the coordinator of the port call, but there is also, obviously, uh, an issue of, of self-interest there. And, as I say, we, we are hopeful that with, with good luck and a fair wind, um, you know, we will be there on the 1st of July but then we're going to be prepared if we aren't, and as usual, have to sort out the issues that, that may arise.